first day of training camp, uh, Jordan dominated. Uh, now, we, we didn't have a great team, but he dominated the action. We started playing uh, exhibition games. He was by far our best player. We started the season. By the 10th game of the season, you could tell he was a special talent uh, because he was doing it, you know, in prime time against everybody. It didn't matter who he played. Uh, but uh, th to say that I knew he was going to be at least one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time at, uh, during that time, I can't say that because that's, that's something that only comes with time. You know, you've got to pass the test of time. And, you know, Michael certainly passed that test. Uh, we knew we had something special, uh, but I, I only wish I were prescient enough to, to, to think that he was going to be what he turned out to be. He's a, a huge figure, um, just knowing how hard he worked, how hard he worked in the offseason, just training his body, and just his demeanor and mentality towards everything. He wanted to be the best. Um, he dedica dedicated his whole life to his craft and his sport, and um, it, it actually made him an icon. He's making a difference outside of um, basketball and off the court, and um, it's big for a basketball player because someone like myself, I look at that and um, hopefully I could be in the shoes one day. So I never was able to afford to go to the games, but um, just hearing when they won or walking in the house, seeing my family members sitting around watching the games, that's something that I'll always remember. Um, he brought excitement um, to the city. You say all the time that I'll never be another this. You know, like we used to say, there'll never be another Bill Russell. There'll never be another Larry Bird. There'll never be another Magic Johnson. Who knows what we're liable to, you know, have down the road. But it's going to have to be something really special to be better than Michael Jordan.